in a beautiful meadow up in a tall tree. There lived a colony of bees. The bees were all friends. When they were flying together, sometimes the bees would accidentally run into each other. I'm sorry, the bee would say. That's okay. I forgive you, the other bee would say. And the bees would keep flying together. They went on flower hunts together. They had bee races together. They worked together. And they flew way up high into the sky together. The bees were happy. But one day, something different happened. Two bees crashed into each other. I'm sorry, said the first bee. You got in my way, the angry bee said. I'm not flying with you anymore. The angry bee flew away. I'll show you, the angry bee said. The angry bee landed on a leaf and waited for the other bee to feel bad. I'm going to sit here all day. It was time to go on a flower hunt. All of the bees went looking for flowers together. But not the angry bee. He sat on a leaf being angry. I'll show that bee, the angry bee said. I'm going to sit here all day. Now it was time for a bee race. They flew as fast as they could, and they all had fun racing. But not the angry bee. He sat on a leaf, being angry. I'll show that bee, the angry bee said. I'm going to sit here all day. Now it was time for the bees to make honey. All of the bees worked very hard, and they made lots of honey together. But not the angry bee. He sat on a leaf, being angry. I'll show that bee, the angry bee said. I'm going to sit here all day. Now it was time for the bees to fly really high up in the sky. They loved seeing who could fly the highest. And they flew up, up, up into the clouds. But not the angry bee. He sat on a leaf being angry. I'll show that bee, the angry bee said. I'm going to sit here all day. But it wasn't working. All of the other bees were still happy. The other bees asked the angry bee to come and fly with them. No, I'm still mad at him, said the angry bee. Okay, said the bees. We'll see you later then. The angry bee started to feel a little bit sad. He missed flying with the other bees. And he wanted to go on flower hunts again. And help make honey. I could be happy again, the bee said. And I could do all my favorite things. All I have to do is forgive. He thought about it, and then... Hi guys! Hi. We're going to start with a song today, and I think you know it. So, 
you can dance along, please, and make lots of noise. You ready? It goes, Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's just praise the Lord. Right arm, Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's just praise the Lord. Right arm, left arm, Father Abraham had many sons. Uh, Esther, many uh, sons said, Father Abraham, I am one of them, and so are you. So let's just praise the Lord. Right arm, left arm, right foot. Uh, Father Abraham had many uh, sons. Many sons said, Father Abraham, I am one of them, and so are you. I need a break. So let's just praise the Lord. Right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot. Oh, no. Big breath. <gasps> Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons said, Father Abraham, I am one of them. And so are you. So let's just praise the Lord. Oh, still going. Oh, no. Right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot, head up. Head down. Double deep breath. <gasps> Father Abraham and many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them. And so are you. So let's just praise the Lord. You think we're done? Nope. Oh no. <sighs> right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot, head up, head down, tongue out. I want to hear everybody singing. Okay. I'll that includes sing. you. All right. Ready? Ooh. Ooh. Tongue out. Father Abraham had many done. Many done said Father Abraham. I am one of them. And so are you. So let's not play the Lord. Think we're done? I hope so. Nope. Oh no. Right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot. Head up, head down, tongue out, turn around, sit down. <sighs> wow. Well, I don't need to work out today. I know. So that's kind of cool. Yeah. Is it recording? Yeah. yeah. So, I missed you guys. I know, we missed you. I know. I was gone for a long time. Yeah. I still have to catch my breath. Apparently, <laughs> I need to go to the gym. Um, so, you did miss me? Yes. Were you angry at me? Yes. I know, because it wasn't expected. Yeah. Yeah. I hope you guys weren't mad. But today, we're going to talk about a guy who had every right to be angry. And, let me show you. Ooh, make a funny face while I'm walking over here. Oh, good one. <laughs> so, we've been talking about Abraham and Sarah. See, here's their family tree. So Abraham and Sarah, Jacob, Isaac and Rebecca, Jacob and Rachel, and they had Joseph. Now Joseph was Rachel and Jacob, Isaac's very favorite son. Wait, it's not Isaac, it's Jacob and Rachel. They had Joseph, very favorite son. She had, they had lots of boys, but Joseph was his favorite. Are you your mom's favorite? Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm my mom's favorite, too. Yeah. Yep. And he loved Joseph so much that Jacob made a multicolored coat for him. Here. I think that light is back there, so let's move a little closer. Yeah. Look, and you have all the stuff for this craft in your children's worship packet. Isabel made this one. It's Joseph. And she gave him a funny haircut. It's called a mullet. So Joseph was given this really pretty coat of many colors by his dad. And he went to his brothers and he bragged about it. <laughs> Look at my coat, isn't it really nice? What do you think his brothers did? Hmm, I want a coat like that, why'd you get that coat? Well, cause daddy loves me best. What, that's yep. not fair. Yep, dad loves me the best, so you don't get a coat like I do. Ugh. And one day, Joseph was out in the field with his brothers and I, the scripture doesn't tell us what they did. Hmm. But Joseph went back and tattled on his brothers about their behavior to their dad. 
Do you think the brothers were happy? No. Yeah, I don't think so either. So then Joseph went out to meet them another day, and they had talked and they conspired, and they thought, let's get rid of Joseph. Our life will be so much better without that brother. He's just a spoiled brat. So they threw him in a ditch. Oh, my goodness. Almost, it was actually more of a pit, a big, deep pit in the ground. Nice or not nice? Not nice. Not nice at all. Mm. And then we're just going to leave him there to die. Oh, yeah. That's rude. That is very rude. But then some Egyptians came along and they bought Joseph. They paid money for him. Wow. And they took him back to Egypt and made him the slayer slave. Hmm. Now, Jacob, his dad, was very sad. Joseph was gone. And Joseph was in prison. But Joseph had this dream. And he had a dream before. He kind of had important dreams. And the dream was that there would be seven years of good grain. Grain is what they make bread out of. They had to have it. And seven years of a drought. Mm -hmm. which means there's no rain, which means no grain. Yep. That rhymed. Yeah. And then he told Pharaoh about it. And then they had their seven good years. And because Joseph had dreamed this, Pharaoh remembered and stored up all that grain. So during the famine, the drought, where there was no grain, they had plenty of grain. But way back with Jacob and his family, they were getting really hungry. Because the famine was everywhere. And Joseph's dreams were so important that Pharaoh made him the overseer of the land. Which is pretty wow. important. Yeah. Kind of like Pharaoh himself. Yeah. And Jacob sent his sons to Egypt to get some grain. So they walk all the way. Long walk. Whew, so tired. And they get there and they see Joseph. But they don't know who he is. He must have changed the way he looked. Yeah. Or they just didn't expect him. Yeah. Yeah. And Joseph sent them home and said, don't bother coming back unless you bring my brother, Benjamin. And Benjamin is Jacob's and Rachel's second favorite son. Mm. So he wouldn't sell them grain unless they brought Benjamin back. So the brothers trekked back home, long walk, and they stayed for a little while, but the famine didn't end. Mm. So Jacob very sadly sent Benjamin to Egypt. I imagine that was pretty hard. Yeah. His la his own last son, his favorite son, he already lost one. Yeah. So all the brothers got to Egypt, and Joseph, still didn't know who he was, but he knew who they were, invited them to eat at his table in the Pharaoh's house. Big old table, all sorts of food. Just imagine all your, what's your favorite food? Um, uh, meatloaf. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> you should have said ice cream. Oh, yeah, and ice cream. Yes. Meatloaf yeah. and ice cream yeah. is the best combination. Meatloaf. And so he invited them all to his table, and then he sold them some grain, and he told his people, put into their sack before they leave all the money that they paid for the grain, so he's returning all their money, and take this silver cup and put it in Benjamin's sack, and then send them away. So he did. And as soon as they were gone, Joseph said, go, get them. So they went, and they searched, and they said, you have stolen from the pharaoh. Come back, you're going to jail. Can hmm. you believe that? That's crazy. It was crazy. He set him up. I know, he did set him up. Huh. And so Benjamin was told he was going to have to go to jail. And Judah, one of the other brothers, said, I'll go for him. My father cannot stand to lose another son. And it was all a test. Because huh. Joseph wanted to know if his brothers had learned their lesson. Mm -hmm. Ah. That's so funny. all of a sudden, in that room, Joseph said to everybody there, Leave the room and kept his brothers. And when he did, he looked at them and he says, I am Joseph. Is my father alive? Huh. Huh. What do you think he did next? Oh, well, what would I do? Yeah. I'd be pretty angry still. Yeah. So I don't know. What would Joseph do? No, what did you do? What would you do? What then? would I do? I'd probably send them all to jail right away. Okay. So no, no ice cream and no, no loaf. No, no food. None of their grain. Oh. Couldn't keep any of it. Yeah. Make them do push-ups all day long. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, what would you guys do? Because Joseph was right. They had wronged him. They had not been very nice to him. Mm. No. They deserve punishment. Yeah. Absolutely. But Joseph says, I am Joseph. Is my father alive? And when they say yes, he says, 
Don't be scared. I'm not here to hurt you. I'm not here to punish you. God sent me here to save everyone because my dreams told everybody what was going to happen. So God sent me here. I'm not upset. I'm not angry. Wow. That's called forgiveness, isn't yeah. it? That's hard stuff. That is. What makes you angry? What makes me angry is when, hmm, maybe when I'm trying to do school and my computer crashes. Oh. That's pretty frustrating. Yeah, that would be very frustrating. But that's nobody's fault. No. No. It makes me angry when my kids fight. Mm. Mm -hmm. Or when they don't clean up the dishes. Yeah. Yeah. What else makes you angry? Um, when I'm told to clean up the dishes. Oh, yeah. See? Well, <laughs> there you go. Yeah. We wouldn't be a good pair. No. No. What makes you guys angry? I can't hear you. But I know there's something out there. So I want you to think about how you respond when you're angry. Do we respond like Joseph? And that's called grace. When we expect a punishment, but we really get love. Yeah. You know? Or would you respond like Rita would and throw them all in jail? Should we throw Rita in jail? Maybe? No. <laughs> and the other cool thing about that story is, is they were all together. It was a family reunion. So all of a sudden they were all together and everybody was happy. Do you ever have family reunions? Sometimes I'll go down to Florida and see my family in Florida. Oh, cool. Family reunions are fun, but they're also a lot of work. Yeah. And a lot of people get angry. Yeah. If we all were more like Joseph, maybe we'd get along. Maybe. Maybe. So your offering for this week is, I want you to do something nice that brings your family together. Hmm. What could that be? Well, you could have a family game night. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. I was thinking that maybe you could tell everybody it's ice cream night at the dinner table and everybody yeah. come and eat ice cream together. Well, that'd be a good one too. Yeah. Or you take a walk. Yeah. Yeah. There's lots of things that you can do. So yeah. that's your offering to God this week is you are supposed to plan something that brings your family together. Yeah. Are you going to do that? Yeah, I think yeah. I will. I'll probably cook for my family. They like food. Mm. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you that you love us and teach us. Help us to understand forgiveness and grace. Help us when we're angry to remember Joseph and most of all, how much you love us. Amen. Amen. Bye guys. Bye. I missed you.